welcome back to my video tutorial on how to make a website like Netflix. If any of you had any issues in the previous video syncing your videos, feel free to send me an email at support at vimeosync.com or check out the forum on our website. I've put both the email and the link in the description. In this video, we're going to install the Netflix theme that was developed specifically for this plugin. And it is specific. If you're going to try and use the theme with YouTube videos or another Vimeo plugin, it will not work. So what we need to do is go to the WordPress Netflix theme on VimeoSync.com. I've also included that in the description below. And you can go ahead and purchase the theme. I do have a promo going on right now. There's a coupon code as well in the description, WP half 50. This will give you 50% off your first year. Once you've downloaded the theme file, you can go back to your WordPress admin and go to appearance themes. Then you can say add new and then upload theme. Install now. Then you can activate it. Now if you go back to the front page of your website and refresh it, you should see something like this. Now obviously there's no video showing, but I'll show you how to fix that. We're going to go to videos and video categories. Now I'm going to make up just some basic categories here. Once you've made some categories you can go back to your video page and you can start doing a quick edit. I would just select whichever ones you want to put in a category. Actually I'm not going to go to those three right now. Do that one. And just say edit, apply, and I'm going to put all of these into action and adventure. And I'm going to say update. Now, if you go to your home page and refresh, you will see videos are starting to show up here, as well as a link to this specific category. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just filling in these categories and I'm going to walk you guys through how to make seasons and episodes within seasons so that everything is in kind of a order. So now that these videos are in some categories, let's see if I go back to the home page here. Um, there's a lot more things showing up. There's three categories I made, action, adventure, comedy, family. I also updated these thumbnail images and I'll show you guys how you can do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I made these categories and how I added the videos and also how you can create uh, different seasons and then episodes within those seasons if you want. So I'm going to make a new category called Tears of Steel because that's the name of one of our videos. And I'm going to make the parent action adventure. And I'm going to say add new video category. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to say season one and I'm going to make that parent tears of steel and then I'm going to say season two and I'm going to make that parent tears of steel as well I'm going to say add new video cat now I'm going to go back to my video page and I'm going to just order these by title and I'm going to put these two in Season 1 of Tears of Steel. I'm going to say Update. And then I'm going to put the last one in Season 2, just so we can see these separations. Here. I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to refresh it. And now you'll see that we have some Tears of Steel episode showing in here. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Action Adventure so that we get taken to the Action Adventure category page. And you'll see that all the videos on Action Adventure are in here. There's also other pages. But on the right side, you can filter. So you see I also created a category called Sintel, which is another one of the videos in here, this one here. I'm going to go to Tears of Steel, and this will show all three Tears of Steel videos. I can also go back to Action Adventure if I want. And now if I filter, it filters by seasons. So if I say Season 1, I'll get just Season 1. I go back to Tears of Steel and I say Season 2, it will only show Season 2. So that's how the category system works. I also wanted to show you guys how I updated the thumbnail images. Now, this can take some time, but if you do want quality images and you want them to be custom, I mean, quality can take time sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit a video and you'll notice that the featured image over here already has an image. So the plugin itself actually pulls these thumbnail images from Vimeo. So the URL of this image is actually hosted on Vimeo right now. So if you don't set a featured image, it will automatically show an image anyways. But if you want to add your own, you say set featured image and you're going to upload the files that you want and I've already made these images so you want to make them uh, 295 pixels by 166 pixels should show the size here. Yeah, so this is the size here you want. And I'm going to select this image. I'm going to say set featured image. Update. And now if I go back to the home page again, you'll notice that this video now has that thumbnail image. And you can see that this one is still showing a, a default image from Vimeo. So I'll go change those two as well. I think you get the idea. I guess I'll also show you that you can actually view these videos. So I'm just going to click on one here. And this is what a video page looks like. Full width, fully responsive. Uh, I don't have a sidebar set up, but I'll, I'll show you that in another video. And you can play and I will mention that the videos I'm using on this demo site are all from Blender Open Projects, so they're public videos. I've given them credit in all the descriptions here, but you'll notice that they're just little five second videos. Anyways, I think that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go through setting up memberships and your Stripe account so you can start restricting your videos to your website only and start accepting payments.